Are you a college student who is confused about which programming language to learn in 2022 that will get you your dream job? And not just that, you also want guidance that how you can learn that programming language, what career opportunities that programming language presents, and what all you can do using that programming language, then this video is for you. In this video, I'll cover top seven programming languages that you should learn in 2022. If you know you want to upgrade your skills, if you are starting afresh to learn a new programming language, or if you're looking to learn a programming language, Language to get you a job. The first programming language would be Java. Yes, you must be thinking that it should be Python or JavaScript, but I would recommend you to learn Java if you are a fresher or in college in 2022 because Java is a very mature programming language. It has a very nice syntax. It has a lot of programming concepts like oops, collections, generics, multi-threading, and it will give you a holistic understanding of how the programming uh, language works. Most of the enterprise level software are created in Java because like I said, Java is a very mature and very trustworthy programming language. It is supported and created by Oracle. Initially, it was created by Sun, but then Oracle took over because Java was so widely being used around the world that at some point of time, they had their slogan as well, you know, running on 3 billion devices. So you can understand how big Java is. Using Java, you can create desktop softwares, backend applications, web services, websites, even Android applications can be created using Java. As you all know, Java was the official uh, supported programming language that Google recommended for creating Android application now that has been changed to Kotlin or Kotlin has been added to that list but yes Java is still you know the first choice when it comes to Android application development in case you pick Java then after completing Java then move on to Spring Framework it is very good if you can learn Spring Boot as well if you have inclination towards web development there are a lot of jobs in the industry for Java developers right now and the salaries are also good. Using Java, you can also easily learn data structures and algorithms. The second language would be Python. Yes, beginners around the world love Python because it's so easy to learn. The syntax is so uh, easy to understandable. And there are so many things that you can do using Python. Python is a general purpose programming language which can be used for web development, software development, desktop application development. Then you can also work on AI ML models using Python programming language. If you want to get into web development and you want to learn Python as well, then choose Django framework because Django framework is one such framework which is being used in the industry to create e-commerce website and different other websites because Django framework is a very good framework to create web applications. Also, if you have decided that you want to get into data science, AI, ML, then also you should pick Python. Otherwise, you know, for enterprise level software, Python is still catching up, but Java, C hash, these programming languages are being used in the industry right now at a very large scale as compared to Python. The third programming language or scripting language, I would say is JavaScript. If you want to become a web developer, then JavaScript is the language, is the scripting language that you have to learn in 2022. There are so many frameworks out there that are based on JavaScript. Node.js is a runtime on which you can run JavaScript and Node.js has made JavaScript capable of, you know, being used as, as a full stack development language. Now you can develop front end and back end both in JavaScript. So if you learn JavaScript, you can become full stack developer. You need to know nothing else. Just, you know, pick any database and you're good to go. Apart from this, React.js is such a nice library that is built upon JavaScript and it is being used around the world for web applications. We use React.js at study tonight and you can club it with Express.js, MongoDB to create Mern stack. Then there's Vue.js. Yes, next year yes. there's so many different frameworks and libraries available in JavaScript all you have to do is you know learn the basics of core JavaScript and then you can start with different frameworks fourth I would say C hash or C sharp it is a programming language that was created by Microsoft back in I would say 2000 and 1999 because it's about 20, 21 years old. It's a very, very nice programming language. Just like Java, it's been trusted around the industry. A lot of enterprise level software are created in C-Hash. C-Hash is very developer friendly. You write less code, but produce more output. Yes, there are so many good IDs that has been created by Microsoft, which can be used uh, you know, in C-Hash development. So overall, C-Hash is a very, very nice programming language. If you're looking for a job in companies like TCS or Infosys or any service level, a big service providing company, then C-Hash is a very nice programming language. Also, product-based companies also use C-Hash programming language. And you can you know, do data structures and algorithms as well in C-Hash. Fifth programming language would be a very new one. It is Golang that was created by Google back in 2008, 2009. It 
is more used in system design, but now it's being used in cloud services. Docker and Kubernetes are written in Go language and uh, you know, uh, web development can be done in Go language. Go language is a very nice programming language when it comes to concurrency and simplicity and fast build and execution times. So a lot of companies are now moving their performance centric code and features to Go language. Earlier, maybe it was written in Python or some other programming language. Now they're moving that to Go language. So that is the impact that Go has created. In the last six, seven years, Go language has gained a lot of popularity. So if in 2022 you want to pick a new programming language, I would really suggest, you know, you should consider Go language. We have a separate video based on Go language explaining why Go language is such popular programming language, how you can use it, which companies are using it. So you should definitely check that video out. Next comes Kotlin. Why I've added Kotlin in this list? Because Kotlin is a very nice programming language when it comes to Android app development. Android ecosystem is huge and we cannot deny that. There are so many Android devices being used around the world and applications have to be created for those devices. So Kotlin is a very nice programming language. It has a syntax close to JavaScript. It's simple to learn. It's easy. It's you know compatible with Java code as well and runs in Java runtime environment. So you don't need a lot of you know different setup if you have already worked with java for android application development you can easily switch to kotlin as well last but not the least c plus plus yes you know when you are in college you always start with c language and then you move on to c plus plus c plus plus is a very nice programming language because it has the concepts of oops and it also has the simplicity of c language it is a very nice you know a programming language that you can learn and you can start your programming journey with so if you are thinking of which programming language to pick and you're still in college c plus plus is a very nice choice Using C++, you can also, you know, start learning data structures and algorithms. And, you know, a lot of companies will select you if you are very good with C++ and data structures and algorithms. You can easily crack interviews and get a nice job in product-based companies direct from your college. So these were my seven best programming languages of 2022 based on what's going on around in the world, which programming languages are being used widely and, you know, what is gaining, what is going down. Apart from this, apart from all the programming languages, you should definitely, you know, spend time on understanding the cloud infrastructure because that is also a modern requirement when it comes to application development or software development, website development. You must know basics of cloud, be it any cloud service, AWS, Google Cloud Platform, Azure, DigitalOcean, anyone, you know, you should have some hands-on experience for that and Linux operating system as well. So if you, you know, pick any one of these programming language, have some basic understanding of cloud and Linux, I think no one can stop you in 2022 from getting a job or from progressing ahead in your career. Thank you for watching the video till the end. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Do share it around with your friends and please do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and press the bell icon. I am creating more and more videos around various different things, cloud, ethical hacking, object oriented programming database and I will soon you know start posting those videos on YouTube so please do subscribe and do leave your comment below this video if you like this video if you have any confusion if you are still not clear what to learn what not to learn the roadmaps anything do post the comment and I'll definitely reply to each and every comment